So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Looks like we have time here in our first column, total amount in dollars here in our right column. Um, at zero time, the amount was $604 and so on and so forth. As time goes on in terms of years, this total amount increases a little bit. So the question here says Rosa opened a savings account at a bank. The table shows the exponential relationship between the time T in years since Rosa opened the account and the total amount in in dollars in the account. If Rosa made no additional deposits or withdrawals, which of the following equations best represents the relationship between T and N? So I like these types of questions because of the diagram, really, um, because they seem as if you should be able to use this information and just come up with some type of function here, which is technically true, but not necessary. Instead, we're going to use the data here and just plug into the answer choices. So this becomes a plug in information from question. I'm going to use this information to see, well, which, which one which one of these um, answer choices matches the details I already know. So let's start here. I know that when t is equal to zero, because time is zero, so zero equals t, I should have n, which is the total amount of money, equal to 604. Where does that happen? So choice A, if I replace this with zero, one plus 604 is 605, and 605 to the zero power is just one, so I'd have n equals one, but I want n equals 604 dollars, so A is gone. How about choice B? Um, it's simple to see as well that if I replace T with zero, this will not equal 604. So choice B is gone. Choice C, if I replace T with zero, this whole thing becomes one. 604 times one is 604. So that looks good. And with choice D, if I replace this with zero, again, this whole thing becomes one. One times 0 0.004 is not 604. So really just understanding this very first row here helps me to narrow down the correct answer fairly quickly, and the answer must be choice C.